if if I were to close my eyes and say there's going to be a big winner five years from now, ten years from now, you have two options. It's a crypto company that did some gaming, or it's a gaming company that's already a behemoth, and they just said, all right, let that nerd do what he wanted to do with crypto. Seems like it's easier for EA, Tencent, uh, you know, uh, the, the people behind the Unreal Engine uh, was that Epic. It's easier for Epic to just have a crypto component and be by and far the largest crypto gaming ecosystem. Without a doubt, really no one can even come close. Rather than like a homegrown thing of devs from different continents, they like talk on Discord and they're gonna take down Fortnite. All right, sure, maybe. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. I think if a game like Fortnite did just adopt the Web3 model and, and even a token, like yeah. it would just take over. And, and before people say, well, Fortnite will never do. They have no incentive. They want to sell you skins and they don't want to have a secondary market. I agree. I agree. It's not going to be the number one player. It's going to be number three, number four in traditional gaming. And they're going to want that number one, number two spot. And so that will be the company that introduces crypto. If it does so well, then number three, number two, number one will have to basically, they'll have to, they'll have to do the same thing. And then that's how you end up with Fortnite involving crypto. It's not like Fortnite would want to do it. They would have to do yeah. it because number two, number three, and number four are doing it. Yeah, it'll take a, you know, a taking a risk for that three or four to try to get to that number one, and then yeah, everyone's well, that, gonna and have then to Bitcoin's fall. going to be high, and so sentiment will be high, and then they'll be like, all right, we can do that Bitcoin thing because that's what they think. Everybody thinks crypto is Bitcoin, so some freaking boomer gaming executive that's like in charge of like the large capital allocations, who's like, oh, like that Bitcoin thing? Oh yeah, isn't Bitcoin like two hundred k? Oh, we can get some of that crypto money. Okay. But during bear market, they're gonna be like, oh, no, I heard it's a scam on my cable news channel.